Idris. Sometimes ketchup is more valued than humans. Sometimes ketchup is more valued than humans. Sakib Idris. In the time that you took to applaud me, four children died of hunger. That's how fast hunger kills. Let's take the next five seconds of a time to close our eyes and thank whoever we want for blessing us with at least two square meals a day. Go ahead, close your eyes please. Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, about a year ago, I was at McDonald's. When I was about to enter, I felt a small hand tugging my jeans. I looked down and there stood a small girl who barely reached my waist. Her big brown eyes staring at me with hidden pain. Her clothes, nothing but tattered rags. I haven't eaten anything in the last two days. Please help me. I got my wallet to give some money. Oh no, no change. I looked at her, shrugged my shoulders and headed to McDonald's. I then walked up to the counter and ordered my all-time favorite Big Mac large meal with an extra add-on topping of hot Mexican ketchup sauce. Oof. The sauce. Peppered with chili delights, which simply ignites my taste buds. That heavenly feeling costed me about 100 rupees extra, which was completely worth it. I enjoyed my meal to my heart's content and left. While I was leaving, I felt a small hand tugging my jeans again. But this time, I knew who it was. I was annoyed. I looked at her. And all I noticed was a stream of teardrop down her face. I felt a bit moved, but I knew I had no extra money to give her. I simply waved my hands, asking her to leave, and left. Three days later, I head to Mumbai for an interview. I had just landed at the beautiful airport. With stars in my eyes, I walked towards a snazzy food joint with the swagger of a star to order a big cup of cafe latte. Wait, where's my wallet? It's gone. My lifeline, my precious card, gone. Leave alone cafe latte. I wasn't able to even afford a chai at a local dhaba. With a sinking heart, I blocked my card immediately and requested for a new one. They told me they would take four days to activate it. Four days? I was left penniless in a new city with no person to reach out for help. I was devastated. I called my dad. He informed me I could avail cash only through Western Union, but I would require my ID card for it. Hmm. My ID was in my wallet. And where's my wallet? Heartbroken, I stepped out of the airport. Just outside one of the world's best airports stands one of the dirtiest slums. I had found myself walking through the sewage filled lanes with nothing. My life had flipped in a matter of seconds. I tried asking people for help, but everyone in that busy city just ignored me. The first night, I slept at a bus stand with a cloth tied around my stomach in order to calm it, crying out of hunger. The next day, I woke up to find myself with a beggar outlook. My white Calvin Klein t-shirt didn't seem to have its class anymore. All I could do was wander in those streets of Mumbai with my stomach growling for food, my nose constantly smelling the kebabs being prepared, the sound of the sizzling pow parties echoing in my ears, and my eyes moist with salt as I realized what deprivation was. 
deprivation of a basic necessity food two days later mumbai couldn't hold my hunger any longer i went to a vendor crying and said bhaiya main do din se kuch nahi khaya kuch khane ke liye milega literally pleading him saying i haven't eaten anything in the last two days can you please give me some food the moment these words uttered from my mouth i realized karma had put me in the shoes of that hungry child outside mcdonalds the next day i managed to get myself a room at don bosco shelter for homeless the walls over there were filled with newspaper cuttings one of them read 25000 children die every single day due to hunger that's about 20 to 25 children every minute For the first time in my life, I felt an excruciating pain sinking down to the core of my human side. As I realized, I had spent a hundred rupee on a mere ketchup. But when it came about that hungry child, that note suddenly took hold of its augmenting value. That's when I realized that sometimes ketchup is more valuable than you. Today. When my hands reach out to give alms, I don't worry about not having change. I have realized what it is to go without food, even if it was just for a day. Those masters, we belong to an organization where leaders are made, a place where we change lives. Today, let us take that step forward and pledge to make socially conscious leaders who bring a change. No problem in our life can become as big as losing the smallest thing from our busy life. Food. Let's close our eyes once again, and this time truly be grateful for all the blessings that have been bestowed upon us, and hope that the next time we come across someone less fortunate, let's try to do small things that can bring a big smile on their face, because a leader is the one who brings the change. If it's not us, then who? If not now, when? Can't stop.